Hello everyone, welcome to the highlight video of race one of the Japanese Grand Touring series that Pure are hosting. Um, this was at Tokyo R246 and we had 15 of the top drivers of qualifying. Uh, top 8 there as you can see, very close together with times, 4 attempts separating them. We have GT Academy finalists in there and this was really preparing us for a great race. So MSP J Town kicked us off after the warm up lap. Uh, with Nisman pulling in in second place and then we had 2 by 2 all the way to the first corner we had no mishaps, it was straight round, everybody making it round absolutely quality racing and then we had this superb image there of all the cars making it round that first corner MSP J Town led the way there through this first section through this sweeping section here and everyone was sort of just getting into position to then start thinking about trying to make moves, defend moves and everything else through the field as then we came on this long right hander just showing you there that different cars obviously taking slightly different lines and uh, this is uh, how <laughs> the field looked as we exited that we then had this huge battle led by Spurgey here her uh, 4th 6th position this involved everyone from 6th down to 15th place uh, and it, this happened uh, all the way through the race had these two Lexuses there, GMP, um, GTP, GM Matthew and Lozzer is cool, they're fighting. They really couldn't get away from each other uh, for a lot of the race. And uh, yeah, it was just uh, constant, constant action throughout. Obviously you can see uh, there was a tiny little gaps in this massive pack, but they all closed up on the straight and it led to this huge battle there where Spurgey and LV Racer were fighting. And the main source of battles were on that straight there and the, a lot of the action was there. Obviously with Slipstream, a long straight, you'll be able to get a few good overtakes there uh, on that straight. Tony, Nisman, obviously were fighting. At the end of the straight, Tony had managed to overtake Nisman. And he, Tony had made up two positions by this point, and he then went on to try and push himself even further to try and catch up to MSP J-Town. Then had this battle here with uh, Hancock Quarters and G GTP Ghost Driver and uh, it was just constant fighting Ghost there making up a slight bit of position with Wardez also trying to come back at Ghost Driver but then we had them coming through this left hander Wardez made a slight mistake and dropped a couple positions and had to, came in behind, had to come in behind Hashino there then we had John Killer got it wrong a bit under braking and that meant a small accident with damage uh, the first accident of the race on lap 9 and he then had a lot to do to then catch up to the main uh, bulk of the field there did mean he had a bit of clean air though so he could just put his head down and absolutely go for it so then we had Ghost Driver come in the pits really really early uh, this meant that strategy was coming into play now Obviously coming in early could mean that you could get a bit of free air. Uh, obviously then just put in your lap times, bang, 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 and absolutely go for the, uh, the overtakes with the strategy. Uh, because with battling you do slow each other down. And uh, that mean Ghost Driver did get a lot of clean air, as you can see by the map there. He had all that to play with them. But it did mean he would have to push uh, with the field. We did have uh, John Killer there who had pitted after that damage as well, so th those two guys then had to really push. Then we had Sken Diggy and this man then fighting at the end of the straight once again, and this man dropping another position to Sken Diggy there. And then this battle then went on for a few laps there, as we are currently on lap 12 there with the uh, Nissans. And then we had MSP J Town really sort of homing in there uh, in the mid race at the moment and he's currently still winning led from the very first lap and then we had Tony in second place there making up two positions in the Castrol Tom Supra and doing very well indeed in that Supra we saw the strength of the Supra was in the corners then we had Skendigi overtaking Nisman and I was building up a bit of a gap uh, between him and Nisman uh, meaning he could just settle down and have a comfortable race we then had Nisman uh, with Lozzer is cool and Lozzer is cool making a good move there coming up to the first corner and then Lozzer obviously breaking away from that big battle and then overtaking this man there uh, getting that fourth position Lozzer really did show pace there when he broke away then we had the first of the scheduled pit stops it was Hancock, we had uh, Wardez pitting 
uh, Spurgey pitting as well. Uh, everyone really started the pit stops here. We expected it around this time. Obviously, lap 21 would have been the midway point. Um, but we had GM Matthew there, uh, who had uh, pitted early and got the cut on everybody, showing you how uh, strategy was coming into play there. And also, Ghost Driver making up a huge amount of positions, doing the exact same thing. This man obviously coming out just in front of Ghost Driver, but he was a bit further up the field from the mid-pack, so that was the reason why that uh, had happened. And John Killer there, even with that mistake, still uh, cut uh, past Spurgey, Hancock and Wardes. Spurgey made a little bit of a mistake there, a bit aggressive on the throttle, uh, on the cold tyres, and just spinning the car up a little bit. That meant he dropped to the back of the field. MSP J-Town then came into the pits on lap 20. Uh, just to obviously uh, change the tyres, obviously I had a clean race up to now and just really going to the strategy he'd fought up of. Uh, his best lap there was a 135.9 on that strategy uh, but then we were just having a look, see where uh, MSP J-Town would come out having a look at who's not pitted, who has pitted, obviously all the positions are changing lap after lap at this point with uh, different strategies coming into play and obviously we have Matthew there uh, coming round. Now Matthew did then pit again, we weren't sure why, uh, we believe it was damaged that he did the pit stop again, uh, meaning Matthew did drop to the back of the field. As we see Matthew come into the pits now, obviously his second pit stop this early on wasn't very good for him. So then we had John Killer, got major major damage there with the engine, meant he was driving very very slowly around. And then IRT had the exact same damage as well. We're not sure how they both did that. Obviously must have crashed into a wall. Uh, engine damage has to be repaired really because it does hamper your speed that much more. Obviously with any wheel damage you can sort of drive with it. Engine damage you'll lose just so much speed. So obviously now uh, IRT was going to come out in f with the leader there, MSP J-Town. So he was going to become a bat marker uh, in the field basically become the first lapped car of the field, which is not bad to say we were 23 laps into the race. As we watch J-Town there pass this uh, IRT there. We then had an issue where IRT went straight into the tyre wall and that was pretty much the end of IRT's race there. Unfortunate for him, he had tried very hard, done a lot of practice for the race, but uh, obviously a little mistake meant that he was just out of the race at this point. He was just staying there to make sure the field got by and then he'd slowly edge his way back to the pits. Lazarus Cool and his man then continued their battle for, the f for this fourth position. And uh, this man had made the uh, ground up with that earlier, slightly earlier pit stop. So it meant this battle was then raging on. We then had Lazar coming into the first corner to try and do that overtaking move once again. This man read it well this time and defended round the outside uh, to maintain that fourth position. We then had LV Racer pit again. We're definitely not sure why LV pitted again. And we also had IRT go out for a bit of testing. So, as we didn't know what LV was pitting for, we went through the drivers, had a look at the fuels, see if fuel would be an issue. Realising Loza was definitely fine for fuel. Uh, he had the most out of everybody. Uh, so we sort of tried to figure out um, who had to pit stop again. Obviously we had Ghost Driver who did need to pit stop again, uh, just for the fact that he pitted really, really early on lap 10. Uh, but we f thought everybody else would survive on that. So there we had Ghost pit on lap 30. It would mean he would have to really push hard. Obviously he had fresh tyres so he could absolutely plant his foot to the floor and try and make up any positions uh, that he could. He would come out with LV Racer GT there. <coughs> Uh, at the same time, they've both obviously done two stops, but Ghost is on fresher tyres, so it would mean they would have a really good battle then uh, for that position. LV just getting in front of Ghost Driver there. So they came around that first corner, and then the battle would commence between those two, the Nismo Z and the Supra. Sken Diggy then had to pit. Uh, we're not sure why Sken Diggy had to pit, um, but he then uh, obviously got fresh tyres, dropped a few positions, it was more than likely due to damage and he then came out and had to try and uh, force his way back up the positions. That meant Nisman and Lossary's Cool obviously went up, Nisman into the podium positions there. And that also meant that we had to have a look at fuel again with Nisman on the red there but he did come down start finish straight and Lossary's Cool just behind and Outlaw just behind him as well. 
and uh, Nisman obviously came across the line to finish in third position uh, with Loza and Outlaw following close behind. Everyone obviously catching up to each other there. A couple more laps, that could have been an amazing battle for that third spot. MSP J Town took the win in this race with Tony in second place, Nisman in third, Loza in fourth position, Outlaw in fifth. We had, then had Skendigi in sixth position, did well with two pit stops there. And uh, MSP Hashino nearly taking him on the line there. Uh, didn't quite do so, but he did very well to come through the field there. Obviously battling that mid-pack as well. We then had Hancock and Spurgey uh, in ninth position. And Spurgey did well, he was in the battle for most of it there. We then had Ghost Driver finishing 10th, coming from the back of the field. Uh, LV Race GT in the Nismo Z, then Wardez. John Killer, with that mistake earlier on, came back came back to 13th position. Matthew, uh, obviously had two quick succession, uh, successive pit stops, not sure what happened there. Uh, which meant he uh, came in 14th and IRT obviously uh, retired and just did a bit of testing during the race. So that was basically the uh, first round of the pure Japanese Grand Touring Series, the third season of the series. And uh, you've been watching this on Tijani TV. Obviously, it's organised by Pure. And we'll see you again at race two, which is at Monza.